Hey, and welcome back for today's mini lesson. Today we are going to add an apple onto the stack of our books. So to start, we're just going to, you can either start with a, a circle just to kind of estimate about the size of your apple. So there, I wanted it probably about that big. And so then I'm going to add a small little curve line here. And I'm going to add a curve line going out, but then I want to kind of go back in at the bottom, kind of sink it in right there. And that's just because that is the bottom of my apple, so it looks a little more realistic. So using this curve line that I've created here, I'm going to go here, curve out, and I'm going to curve slightly back in and tuck under here to create that side of my apple. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to kind of make a little line around that to, um, to, to create the back little part of my apple. Now you can go in and find other videos for drawing apples. If it's simpler, it's fine. Uh, so I'm going to draw a curve line going up, curve line going up, and a circle for my stem. I'm going to add a little line here, and I'm just going to make a curved line and a curved line to make my leaf. And then I'm going to add the little veins in my apple. Uh, so I'm going to ink this by just going over it with the Sharpie. So. I know in the other videos, I've always just kind of went off screen. So I'm going to trace my lines as best I can. And this is also why you want a piece of paper underneath, just in case it bleeds through, which luckily we have not bled through. Um, so. I kind of like the shape of my apple, even though I have this curve line from my pencil earlier. And so I'm just going to actually ignore it and just kind of connect my lines there. So once I've got that, I'm going to go in uh, and erase. One thing about the Sharpies is that you can almost immediately erase. If you have a different type of pen, you do need to wait for that ink to dry. So I've gone in and I have colored my apple red, but because we are doing a little bit of shading on the rest of our picture, decided that we needed to. Now an apple is a round object, so that means that the shadow is going to be different. It's not going to be a straight line. It's not going to always just follow the bottom of a shape like the donut or the coffee cup. So for this one, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to use the same red because I've lightly colored it. I'm going to kind of follow this round shape since my I made the shape of my apple purposefully uh, smaller at the bottom than at the top. So I'm going to go in and shape this following that curve. going to kind of blend it a little bit so that it kind of looks a little bit even here. And then I'm going to go in and darken around this leaf and this stem. I'm going to go back in and blend this a little bit more to give it a little bit better a better of a look. Okay, and there we have it.